And the Russian military forces operating in Syria at the request of Damascus are supplementing their country's contribution to the Syrian war against terrorism with humanitarian relief to support the families and children of the Syrian soldiers killed on the battlefield. Our correspondent Hisham Wanos has the story. The humanitarian operations of the Russian military reach all war victims all over Syria. The distribution of 500 food baskets as well as gifts, presents and school supplies to the families and children of the marches of the Syrian Arab army in the rural area of the coastal province of Latakia is an example of this humanitarian work. The distribution of aid is carried out by the Russian Coordination Center in cooperation with Syrian authorities to provide assistance to war-affected families throughout Syria. And we plan to carry out three such operations in different parts of the country this year. Russian social movements are also expected to join these efforts. Russian aid reached the families of 110 martyrs and 250 wounded soldiers of the Syrian armed forces, who are part of the population of the village of Chamilla in the Latakian countryside. Locals of this area, as well as the inhabitants of other villages in different Syrian provinces receiving assistance from Russia, are grateful that just as they helped their national army to overcome terrorism, the Russian military are now helping to strengthen the Syrian people's resistance to the Western economic war. We are grateful for this support from Russian friends and this is the second time that their humanitarian assistance reaches our village and we hope that their support will reach the all those in need in the country as this aid contributes to improve the psychological and economic situation of Syrians in the midst of the unjust United States economic blockade. At the same time as this humanitarian action, the Russian military continues its air support to the Syrian Arab army in its pursuit of the last terrorist remnants of Syrian soil, as well as its efforts to restore security in the desolation zone in the northwestern Syrian province of Idlib through joint patrols with the Turkish military police in compliance with the ceasefire agreement signed in 2019 between Moscow and Ankara in the Russian city of Sochi. Hisham Wanus, Telesur, Damasco, Syria.